story right now at 5 o'clock, a dramatic turn concerning the shooting death of a 7-year-old child. And Mobile police now say Jaden Hill accidentally shot himself while playing with a gun at his home on Wealthy Street, but this tragic story does not end there. Local 15's Jasmine Williams explains how the boy's stepfather tried to get revenge. Jasmine? Andrea Kenneth Sims returned to the house on Wealthy Street and searched for the people he believed were responsible for his stepson's death. Now, while we don't know who those people are, we do know this. He was arrested, and this isn't his first run-in with the law. While Jaden Hill's family plans a funeral, his stepfather, Kenneth Sims, is now facing jail time. Authorities spent hours at the home on Wealthy Street Wednesday after responding to a call that a child had been shot in the head. Seven-year-old Jaden Hill later died. After an entire day of interviews, police determined the death was accidental. A family member in the home uh, did have possession of the gun and thought that they had put it in a place that was okay for children to be around. A ruling that didn't sit well with the child's stepfather. In a revenge attack, Kenneth Sims returned to the home, armed with a knife and a gun. Too emotional to talk to cops, he was later arrested. He uh, actually cut two adults that were inside of the home. Now, they were very minor injuries. Uh, after Mr. Sims left that home, uh, he was involved in an altercation out in the street, at which point uh, he produced a firearm. This isn't the first time Sims' tempers flared. Arrest records show he faced charges ranging from murder to domestic violence dating back to 1997. All of the cases now closed. It, it doesn't seem to have anything to do with his criminal history. It just seems to be uh, this isolated incident. The incident, the death of such a small child, has sparked a large debate about guns and responsibility. From council members to concerned neighbors, people in Trinity Gardens are talking. We're not getting one on one with our kids to find out what's going on with them, which leads to stuff like this. If you're going to own a gun, you ought to secure it. If not, you ought to be responsible for whatever the gun does. Now, Jaden's family did request that we allow them to grieve privately, and we are respecting their wishes. As for Sims, he faces charges of second degree assault, and he could face more charges. Live outside Mobile Police Headquarters, Jasmine Williams, Local 15 News.